Welcome to our daily devotional series, The Daily Herald. I pray that these messages will come to you as an encouragement and a reminder to be heralds of the Lord daily. God bless you. True Christians are happy. May 5. Blessed be the Lord who daily loads us with benefits. The God of our salvation. Psalm 68:19. Christians should be the most cheerful and happy people that live. They may have the consciousness that God is their Father and their everlasting friend. But many professed Christians did not correctly represent the Christian religion. They appear gloomy as if under a cloud. They often speak of the great sacrifices they have made to become Christians. They appeal to those who have not accepted Christ, representing by their own example and conversation that they must give up everything which would make life pleasant and joyful. They throw a pall of darkness over the blessed Christian hope. The impression is given that God's requirements are a burden even to the willing soul and that everything that would give pleasure or that would delight the taste must be sacrificed. We do not hesitate to say that this class of professed Christians have not the genuine article, God is love. Whoso dwelleth in God dwelleth in love. All who have indeed become acquainted by experimental knowledge with the love and tender compassion of our Heavenly Father will impart light and joy wherever they may be. Their presence and influence will be to their associates as the fragrance of sweet flowers because they are linked to God in heaven and the purity and exalted loveliness of heaven are communicated through them to all that are brought within their influence. This constitutes them the light of the world, the salt of the earth. Where does the artist obtain his design? From nature. But the great master artist has painted upon heaven's shifting, changing canvas the glories of the setting sun. He has tinted and gilded the heavens with gold, silver, and crimson, as though the portals of high heaven were thrown open that we might view its gleamings and our imagination take hold of the glory within. As we are attracted to the beautiful in nature and associate the things which God has created for the happiness of men and women with his character, we will regard God as a tender, loving father rather than merely a stern judge. The heart is quickened and throbs with new and deeper love mingled with awe and reverence as we contemplate God in nature.